Aloha and welcome to another journey. We're going from Rome, which is right behind me right there. Going from Rome, New York, westward on the Erie Canal to Selwyn Beach today. Should only take us maybe uh, two, two and a half hours. Uh, they're having some um, water skiing competitions. So we want to get there maybe after five o'clock just uh, so that we can get out of their way. But tomorrow we're going to try to cross Lake Oneida. The weather window is really good and uh, that lake can be really rough uh, when the wind picks up. We, so it can easily get to three and six foot waves. In the meantime, we plan to pick that window tomorrow and uh, head out right now and do a two, three hour journey up the river here, up the canal to, um, to Selva. So join us and come along for this fun trip. Aloha, we are Sava, Cynthia, and Alex, along with our two dogs, Lucy and Shadow. We're traveling America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile North American waterway from Florida to Canada and back down via the Mississippi. Follow us on this journey on our boat called Mahalo. Lots of ducks along here. More ducks than we've seen in a while. This is so nice after last night's hail. Oh yeah. And uh, high winds. I was hoping for a hail that's that small, if anything. This bigger hail could crack our solar panels. And that's, that's the last thing we need. Oh, I didn't even think about the solar panels last that's night. Just, oh, we've already had so much bad weather. <laughs> but I mean, we had hail last night. Yeah, we had hail last night. They yeah. said ping pong ball size, but we never got that we size. Did, but we did get some. We got some. We could hear it. Yeah. It was clack, clack, clacking along. The best thing to do is not look up the stairs. <laughs> so, Zav, I don't think that's official, official, but somebody's put an orange cone on the end of that log. Mm -hmm. Letting you know it goes further down underwater, I'm sure. Another family of ducks. They probably all hunkered down during the storm and now they're out feeding. You know, I'm sure they all took cover in the rushes. This is a gorgeous day. thinks that's her signal to bark. Have Bell will bark. This is quite the straightaway. Usually we have a curve coming up or a curve. And um, this, this is straight. All the way as far as I can see is straight. So that's a little unusual. Water we've had so far has mainly been brown, ugly brown, uh, silted brown. So this is quite nice to see clear water um, on the side of the canal. The kayak and a little puppy in the kayak. Two 
dogs actually can take away at. <laughs> that is so funny. Did you see the two dogs in there? That's, that's cute. <laughs> Almost here, lock 21, and then there's lock 22, which is like a mile west of that lock. So it's going to be one lock after the other, and then we're done before Lake Oneida. In fact, I just called the lock master by the telephone so he can be ready for us. The wind's gusting about 15 miles per hour, which is pretty heavy for this boat. And uh, I just as soon have the lock ready to drive right in rather than waiting outside and trying to keep this thing steady. That was my thought anyway. So coming up on lock 21. We're doing two locks today, lock 21 and 22. Came through that one, very slimy. And it was our first lock that we go into where it's full and it emptied. So reverse from what we have been doing. So kind of cool. So over here, we have a nice little grassy area with the road alongside the canal. Um, looks more like a service road. I'm not seeing it be like a bike trail per se. Doesn't mean that people can't use it that way. We have Alex up here using binoculars to double check if he sees any debris. Zava's had some ice cream grapes. He's got his noodles ready. Well, I'm just at his table. The captain's table. And actually, these are Maggie noodles that we picked up in Europe. And we ate Maggie noodles when we were kids in Singapore. So the boat that was behind us earlier that we thought was going to pass us, and it was something named Spirit. Kindred Spirit. Kindred Spirit. It chose to stay at Lock 21 on the outside of it. Like, it didn't come in with us. So we're going two locks so we can get closer to Lake Oneida for our weather window for tomorrow. I'm going to go up here so I can show the birds. Alex felt like when he was doing the lock just now um, that his battery was beeping in his headset, even though I charged all of them to green this morning. Look at that bird take off. How they get airborne, I don't know. Oh, there's another one. They flap their wings and kick their feet and they just take off from the water, just like a seaplane, right? They just passed over, either that's a bird or a stick in the water, I think it's another bird. So we might be able to here show you three taking off. There's the third one. Since these locks are only one mile apart, Alex and I, well, he took his life jacket off, I'm still wearing mine. Looks like I'm wearing it. Yeah, aren't they beautiful taking off in flight? So glad we get to show you this. So beautiful to see the creatures in their natural environment. The path here now almost looks paved a little bit. So maybe this is a bike trail or the old towpath here on the left side. Very nice. A quick look here at lock 22 over our solar panels. Um, that's where we came from. See the markings there say lock 22, lock master's house. There's Alex right there. So let's go over to the front window and take a peek here. The river below looks like someone is tied up there. And there it is. Lift is 24 feet on this one. Not too bad.
trying to go into the lock, but they're going way over to the side. I thought they would have gone straight in. I have some fisher folk. I'm not going to ring the bell. Looks like a lovely pontoon boat. So here we see some fishermen over there in their boat, and we also see a pontoon boat coming. Up ahead is Solomon Beach. Uh, yeah. Fishing. We're so not hot. Peace and quiet is disturbing. We are not hot. We're all calm. They didn't say mahalo. Yeah, nobody said aloha. <laughs> no one said aloha. We're all calm. <laughs> Waverner's getting out. Alex, Alex. take your GoPro. It's on. Just film the GoPro. We're shooting the Waverner's getting out. As you can see, there's some uh, wave runners and there's people waving. like for uh, cyclists. pontoon boat that has some big flags waving off the back. I can't really see what the flags are, but they've got two good-sized flags waving off the top of their boat. And look at this house. There's a Honey, I'm Home on the river. We always, Sav and I always say Honey, I'm Home house when we see one that we think is particularly nice <laughs> landscaped. Oh. I'll have to have Alex get his girl because she's busy and noisy. Yep because she likes to park like a German Shepherd. As we get closer, you'll see, I think there's more than one house. Over on the far right next to the shore is a lot of ducks. And there's a kayaker straight ahead at this junction in a little blue kayak. He's holding Lucy. She doesn't like it when we ring the bell. That makes her like so the kayaker is going there. We're staying to the left, I believe, is the main drag. But over here to the right is some lovely homes that are here on the canal. So it's almost like having lakeside living with nice pontoon boats. I could enjoy that. Having a pontoon boat right here off the Erie Canal. So this house
house is so pretty and like Zava always says, if you're going to have a house by the water, put in big windows and look how they have the long windows all the way down so that when you're sitting in a chair, you can actually look out. You need to have windows that look how the, all their windows they have. It's so nice. And he has a pontoon boat and looks up. He can pull it right up there. Look at that nice setup. Really nice. Oh yes, here's, here, here's another one of the Huntingham Home houses. I love stuff like this. They have a nice gazebo. Yeah. So nice, beautiful landscaping. Yep, and this one too, doesn't this look relaxing? Alex, they've got a place to play volleyball. Nice, quiet. Now, Alex, over here on our right, some of these little homes definitely look like small cottages, very small cottages, but they have their boats right there. So I don't think these are main homes. I think they're just weekend houses like Daddy used to have in Germany. They'd have little tiny houses that just had like a kitchen and a bedroom, you know, and then you went outdoors to enjoy the outdoors. But look at all these little cottages around the marina. Little tiny little houses. Aloha and welcome to Sullivan Beach. We are at the further east dock, which is a little bit further away from the party people. Which in the distance over there, you'll see Lake Oneida. We're gonna cross that tomorrow. But in the meantime, mahalo for watching our journey from Rome to Sullivan Beach. And we appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe with all your friends. Really appreciate that. And we'll see you again next week as we continue across the lake, Lake Oneida, over to the west side of the Erie Canal. Tell.